So, willkommen Leute, wir wieder zu meinem Let's Play von Metal Gear Solid 1. Sorry, es geht weiter. Ja, ich habe kurz was getrunken, deswegen habe ich jetzt ein bisschen komisch gewonnen, aber vielleicht hört man das, weiß nicht. Aber wie auch immer, es geht weiter. Wir zerstören jetzt Metal Gear Rex. Ja, das wird jetzt auch nicht einfach. Vorhin war es ja einfach mit Chef Granaten. Hab noch mal kurz offscreen gespielt, ganz kurz, um sicher zu gehen, dass ich den auch schlagen kann. Chef Granaten können wir schon mal vergessen. Weil man sieht den ja als Auto dann glaube ich mal. Ja. Weil so viel Erfahrung habe ich nur auch wieder nicht. Das war jetzt ein Jahr her. Ja. So, nochmal in Deckung. Das ist aber irgendwie unlogisch. Er trifft mich immer wieder. Selbst wenn ich irgendwie versuche, ihm zu entkommen. Ah. Oh. Komm, stirb. Stirb, bitte. Stirb. Ja, geschafft. So, ich habe nochmal die Untertitel weggemacht. Ja, ich muss jetzt wieder mit der Nvidia-Grafikkarte weitermachen. So, deswegen habt ihr auch die Karte so hell gesehen, so dass sie realistischer aussieht. Ja, realistischer oder besser. Na egal. Wir haben es aber wirklich geschafft. Wir haben Rack, Mel Gear Rex zerstört. Oh, 
their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest given soldier in the world. It was. The father was wounded in combat and already in the gym when they brought him in. So they created us from his servants. With the combination of 20th century analog film and the super game in the game, super game. They fertilized an egg with one of Father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's fetus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octopus. Octopus? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I, two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But. You and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're different. With the completion of the human genome project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, the genome soldiers. That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor symmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem, signs of symmetry. So do I. That's to be. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. Even our big boss's DNA is in the same family. It's very touch on it. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene. You're telling me that your genes are all going to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Come on, answer me, please. 
Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of his oration. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. But, not only that, A-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-61-13 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense could have been the only double-crossed us. He's worried about Fox Guy. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence long as anyone knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that, it's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You gotta get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? Gonna be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you after all the lies. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing?
lost this long. At this height, it will kill even you. How about you, Snake? So, das war's erstmal. Zu meinem Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 1. Ja, wir haben ja auch schon gesehen. Ja, das Liquid uns über irgendwas erzählt hat, die Vergangenheit und so weiter, den Big Boss. Und ja, ein paar Echtzeit-Clips äh, oder so. Wegen der Stories. Die muss ich auch leider wegmachen, da wo so ein weißes Bild wieder rauskam. Nicht so normal weiß wie in-game, sondern so wie so ein Error-Bild. Das muss ich auch leider wegmachen, zweimal. Ja, wie auch immer, im nächsten Part werden wir Liquid den Hintern versuchen. Ja, das werden wir. So, dann sehen wir uns auf dem bis zum nächsten Part wieder. Ciao, Leute.